Hello everyone, welcome to yet another tutorial. Today we are going to look at how to create depth of field. So you can see that the rocks in the background and the landscape or the terrain is uh, blurred out and the rocks in the front are in focus. So we are going to look at how to create depth of field and we will also look at how to create uh, the texture and the landscape and how to generate rocks all right and texture map rocks so let us get started and see how this scene can be created in blender in no time so we are in blender uh, we need few add-ons so if you go to edit preferences uh, search for landscape and either it's here or here or here you need to find where landscape is and turn it on the other one we need is node wrangler which will help us speed up our texture mapping and then we need to add um, mesh add-on extra we need to turn on extra mesh for the rocks okay so the rock generator in 2.9 has been moved to extra objects so once that is on if you go to add mesh you'll get the landscape and you'll get a rock generator so we'll click on the landscape first uh, which adds landscape and then you can make certain changes here so i'll make it big Nine by nine, perhaps. <coughs> All right, so maybe this looks good. All right, so the terrain is created. Now we will create the rocks. So we're going to add mesh rock generator, and then again, you can play with the rock parameters okay, you can see it creates different types of rocks and then you can play with the options all right so we can scale this lock down and rotate it and so on you can select all the mesh and go to object shade smooth all right so if you're not able to find this then what you can do is uh, we'll look at another way of creating a rock so you can go to add mesh cube all right so a cube is added let us bring it out so you can see what happens Go to modify panel and we are going to add a subdivision surface and increase it to say 3. Alright, and then we will add another modifier called displace. And in the texture, you will add new and use Vernoy. Alright, so you can see how different textures will give you different options. Right. So here you can uh, increase the size. Okay, you can go to object, shade smooth. All right, and then you got that. You can reduce the intensity. Okay, you can go to the modify panel and then you can try to increase the strength. And then you get a rock. All right, so that's basically how the same rock generator works, perhaps. All right, now we need to add textures to these objects. So if you go 
and go to CCO textures. Okay, if you can type CCO textures, you'll get this website CCO textures, and you have to search for textures what you want. Okay, so let us look at ground. Okay, so I use this one, but you can use any of the ground textures you want. And I downloaded the lowest size. Okay, then you can search for rock. And I downloaded this one, and I downloaded this one. All right, so you click on it, and then you click on this, and then a texture is downloaded in a zip file. If you open the zip file, you need to copy these files to a specific folder. I have a 3D assets folder where I keep all my images. So you can see that the rock textures are here and the ground texture is here. All right. So let us select our plane, go to materials, add a new material, call it ground and base image image texture all right so instead of doing that we'll undo it go to shading and we select both of these and go to shift control and p okay uh, and then go to wherever you saved your texture and select all of these and then say principal textures. Okay, we'll try to do it again. Alright, so you have to select this one and then shift control T and then everything is done for you. Okay, so if you go to the render settings, you don't see it because you don't have UVW mapping. So you have to go to UV editing and go to UV, smart UV projection and just say OK. All right, so you can go to wireframe mode, select everything. Everything is selected. Okay, you can see how the texture is too big. Okay, so we'll select the whole thing and then we will scale it big. Okay, and then you need really, really big. So then you can get a texture there okay so that's how you create ground and then we'll do the same thing actually for our rocks so select the rock go to materials create new and then name it rock one and then select this one shift control p Go to your rock texture and select all of these and it will create. Now this one is the rock created using the the rock generator. Okay, so again it doesn't have UVW maps. So again, you go to UV editing. Okay, select the whole thing and you have to go to UV, smart UVs. Okay, and once that is done, you will see that it is not mapped properly. So here we will also look at some texture mapping options. So you can select this one and then you can stitch it and it goes and it stitches. Okay, so go and select any of these and start th stitching things.
all right and then go to vertex and then we will open this up okay so we we get rid of we reduce the number of seams that we have so we can select these and then we can go to weld and we can select this and weld so this should be good enough for doing the texture map okay so you can see that the rock is properly texture mapped now and this one we don't have to worry about much so you go to shading uh, we need to add a material so we can say rock 2 select this one shift ctrl t and then select the other rock and connect it and we get another rock texture okay so everything is set up for us so really quickly we were able to create this scene and now we we'll look at the camera n key go to view camera to view view viewpoint camera we'll do our setup so we have the terrain okay something like this is good and then we will deselect this and, and I will drag this around so we can see the camera view and then we can add more stones so basically what I'm going to do is simply select a stone and shift E8 and move it around in the scene and then you can scale it big or small you can even rotate it so it looks different okay shift D Okay, so again we can scale it, rotate it, okay, so it's just a matter of creating a nice composition. You can just D this and bring it close. Make it tiny. I want it really close to the camera. Right in the front here. And hopefully once it is in the ground it's still visible. Which it is. So that is good. Okay. So that should be good enough. I mean, you can keep copying. It will take time for me. Uh, so the next step now is to add an environment map. So we'll go to environment texture. And then again, in 3D assets, I have these uh, texture maps. So I'll use this for example. Okay, and then again, if you go to shading, 
I don't think this will work because there's no sky in this so I'll go back to this one okay and then go to shading go to world and then select this and hit ctrl 3 so that will give us view viewpoint camera we'll get this and then we need to bring the sky up there okay so you can select some clouds there okay in the rendering we need to go to cycles so we can see where the shadows are falling and that's okay I and mean, the shadows are coming towards us but I think it looks like a nice combination okay so <coughs> if you go to now uh, here we will try with a very no, low number we need a denoising on and we'll go to rendering before we render it we go to 1280 by 720 render render image okay so we get an interesting terrain with some rocks I don't know came from some other planet I guess okay so there's no depth of field here everything is in focus so we are going to add depth of field so we need to go and select our camera and under camera properties we turn depth of field on and under viewport display we turn the limits on all right the limits will decide what is in focus all right so we can see that right now the limits we can reduce size so say we'll put this rock in focus or the one in the front this rock will be in focus okay and then if you go to render render image we have an f stop of 2.8 and you can see that this rock is in focus and the other things are getting out of focus and that's about it guys i mean you can just decide which object you want to be in focus and work with that and then you can reduce the f stop to increase the depth of field or reduce it so you can see we are focusing on these two rocks now if you want to focus on this small bugger there you have to reduce the distance quite a bit okay and bring this x there go to render render image you have everything out of focus and this rock is in focus now okay so thank you very much for following the tutorial i hope you learned something and enjoyed the tutorial uh, hope you are able to create some interesting graphics and share it and best wishes thank you very much what uh, to finish it off what you can do is bump this up to 150 or so and then you can get a final resolution which will take a longer time to render okay